for me. Hey guys. So um, my name is Steve. I'm co-founder and president at Conto. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about what we do, uh, our mission, our vision, the way we think about product, and how everything is connected. Because at the end of the day, you'll see, hopefully, that it's not uh, that they're not different things. So pretty straightforward. What we do is that we try to keep that in mind that SME banking is broken from product. Online banking is pretty pretty weak in traditional banks, but also the service um, that you, you 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 obtain when you engage with your banker is not necessarily what you what you what you what you expect, and you you get in return. Uh, more anxieties and delight. And so, pretty straightforward, but it's it's been two years and a half that we're trying to fix um, business banking, SME banking. And we do three things, um, uh, three simple things actually, but it's hard to do a good a good pizza, which is pretty simple. Uh, it's to, to do an amazing product uh, that, is, that, that, that offers great UX, but also great use case custom tailored for, for small, bu small businesses. We offer outstanding customer support, meaning in the world of the customer. Very often when you engage with your bank, traditional bank, you get a technical answer that doesn't really solve the root problem of what you, you expect from, from, from those guys. And, and we try to really be super uh, uh, careful about that. And of course, the third part is transparent pricing, because right now, um, Signing up to, to a traditional bank is somehow quite uh, blurry and complicated to understand, and you, you often figure out that the price is not what you committed for in the very beginning. And so it works. So by just focusing on, 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 on simple stuff, which requires a lot of effort, uh, we get, uh, to, after two years and a half, 1.7% market share uh, of companies in France and uh, we also help um, companies incorporate in, so going through initial capital deposit online, and it's one out of 20 companies created today in France. The, the revenue, of course, is, is so, 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 so we don't try to be cheap. I said before, transparent pricing. The idea is not to be um, free mobile or easy jet. We don't, we don't want to have unbeatable price. Uh, what we want is transparency. Um, but it happens that we're uh, uh, cheaper uh, somehow, end to end, and so uh, we, we we generate revenue because we, we need to we need to do that. Uh, basically, we need we need to to uh, to serve uh, uh, or or shareholders uh, to to have money and eventually uh, reinvest to change the world of of banking. And so our game, what we try to do is to to become. Uh, SME uh, banking leader in Europe. This is our three, next three-year goal. Um, and, and what it means, our mission, our strategy, is to create the bank all businesses love. Uh, we figured out, I mentioned earlier, that when you engage with a traditional bank, the first thing that, that is created in your, in your brain is an anxiety. Either you ask for a loan or you ask for a transfer to be approved or Increasing the limit of card, but your, uh, your, your profile doesn't fit uh, the, the fact to increase the limit. So it becomes kind of a nightmare. And so we do everything we can to be loved, uh, which is captured by customer satisfaction, NPS, and so on. And we'll get there. And so when it comes to product, when, when we try to create the bank all businesses love, we have three, three pretty big challenges. Number one, keeping... Um, yeah, staying focused on creating values at sales, uh, which is a tough part when you, when you grow very fast. You, 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 the traps is that you can, you can in short, uh, spend your time repairing what doesn't work instead of thinking about what's the value customers expect from you. The, the second part is how do you, so it's what I call design with human touch, is how do you offer the same level of delight um, when, when you have 60, 70,000 business customers uh, and some things that was pretty easy actually when you had only 100. So when you scale it becomes 
uh, you need to find mechanism to scale these this things. And, and the third part, of course, is shipping, uh, shipping fast, so building the product, producing the product uh, fast, and it's, it's a tricky part also. Um, so our model, so instead of kind of building processes and, and putting in place a QA everywhere to ensure that all product managers are doing like uh, following the rules and it's, it's very anxious and, and not cool. What, what we've tried to do at Conto, and I'll walk you through that, is that we want, uh, we don't call that a practice, but we call that, a, 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 we don't call that, sorry, a, a process, but rather a practice. So how, how, what is our model to become real strong? Uh, real strong in creating value, in uh, um, th designing with human touch, and shipping quality fast. And uh, it's actually something pretty serious at Conto. Becoming really strong is uh, one of our values. It's mastery, the idea to get better every day at some things that matters. And, and, and it's not a, sorry for the term, but BS, corporate value. We actually have a system for that. And it's, it's an important piece. So. Uh, I see a Conto, uh, someone at Conto here, and, and I know she knows. <laughs> and so we, we actually do that for, for, for real. So let's focus on the first challenge, creating values at sales. So what we do, um, even though we've started mostly on everyday banking, and when we talk about everyday banking, it's, it's not only transferring money, it's paying suppliers. So it's already in the world of the businesses. Um, it, we, do, we do really two things, everyday banking and what we call business finance management. So the software parts that, that, that put banking under a steroid, basically. And so everyday banking, pretty, pretty clear. It's accounts, so an IBAN, transfers, direct debits, uh, cards, and so on. But uh, along the way, I described right before. And business finance management is basically how do we create uh, a platform, so how do we automate finance and we plug to accounting and it just works the way it should. And of course it's, ve it's very hard, so nothing is perfect yet, but this is kind of the, 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 the product principles. But where's the value? So like the big, the big question is uh, yeah, really where, where is the value? So we figured out pretty quickly that customer would, would, would come to Conto because it's simple, it's handy, it's efficient, and so on, and nobody is really talking, those are screenshots from Trustpilot, but nobody's really coming to Conto because we offer CPA transfers. Like, uh, they expect we have it, but they, they come for, for, for the, basically, for, 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 for the perceived value, for, so for the benefits. And this is an important piece because what we've seen with scale, scaling companies, scaling startups, is that they keep repairing churn, based on churn reasons, but eventually, if we all do that, all banks do that, we will all converge to the same product, right? So we get the same feedback, we have similar users, and eventually, we, if we keep repairing, all cars look the same, all offices look the same, and so on. But you don't fall in love because the car is moving. You fall in love because it speaks to you in your world. And for us, it's five things. Uh, reliable, easy to use, fast, transparent, and handy. And so our theory is, uh, of course, tackling features based on feedback we get from NPS, uh, detractors, uh, churn reasons, and so on. But it's also trying to, to, to build a delight, d d delight and, and stuff customers wouldn't ask for in the first place, but that's actually why they're happy to pay. And, and that's, that's, that's a pretty important take. So, and it works, again, so it's uh, showing off a little bit. But it's, so we, we're, if, if you take the, the ratings, uh, we, we are the most loved bank in Europe, uh, including neo banks. So we have the highest rating on Trustpilot. The closest competitor is 4.6. And we have decent number of ratings. And so, yeah, we, we strongly believe at Conto that people actually love Conto because we care about what I said before, which is the benefits, the preferences. So now, design with human touch. So if we zoom in on how we build a feature, how we build, yeah, something you know you, you would you would actually use, um, we try to translate uh, 
creating the bank all businesses love into a big design principle, which we call plus alpha. So what makes Conto different versus BNP on the product, but also at customer success, is smart and delightful with human touch. But how do we scale human touch? This is, this is a tricky one. So what we do is that for the plus alpha, we try to figure out what it means for UX experts, UI, brand design, tone of voice, product managers, and so on. This is just an example. And when we do a discovery, um, discovery meaning we try to create the value, so we, we, we crack the problem to create the value. Um, actually, the, the red square, you, you see, no, you, it's not a laser, but the, the, the red square is, is actually the customer's preferences. So we, of course, we, we kind of understand the current situation, what's the state of the art, why are competitors um, you know, taking these decisions and we may want to take this one on the same feature. Um, what is the problem we're trying to solve? What are the root cause we want to solve? How do we measure this piece of work from product management? But the, the one piece that is key is how do we translate plus alpha on that, on that feature? And so this is exactly the red square. So we, we try to, to, to think about user preferences. So here it's uh, readability, uh, transparency, consistency, and so on. And so we try in the catalog of solutions that the, the product manager would actually go through. Uh, they try to put together only solutions that answer current situation, problem, causes, but also the plus alpha. And it's, it's, a pretty, it's, it's an important one because Eventually, uh, if you remember what I said before, I said our strategy is to become real strong. And, and I told you we have a model for that. And it's actually a model because trying to capture what, by solving the problem, but to capture why customers love you is actually, you know, it creates a strong alignment between three stakeholders we love. So the team, number one, they learn, they mastery. So they learn how to, to, to get to 4.8 uh, rating. Um, of course, happy customers, because we build value and we spark joy, uh, like uh, Marie Kondo, uh, <laughs> we, spark, uh, we spark joy to customers. But of course, also for shareholders, because it's eventually, if you create value, you generate revenue somehow. And I showed you the graph before. So now, la la last piece, how do we ship? So, this is like this is what it looks like uh, when you when you explain it to to a child, and it's pretty pretty simple. So let's take the next important thing to do. Uh, let's write the specs. Let's do the design. Let's develop and so on. And this is theory, but in reality, basically uh, you spend your time waiting and reworking. And so usually a feature in typical scale-up, um, the, the lead time or the time spent to ship something is three times, so 3x more than what it should have been in the first place, which is this. So it's an important, it's an important piece because it creates a lot of frustration, lack of pride from the team, and pretty bad for the customer who is waiting for, somehow waiting for value. So. This is, this is a big, big deal, um, and we, we've tried to find a way to, to, uh, to edge that. And the, 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 we, do, we do basically three things. The first thing we call one piece flow. The second thing we call stop and fix. And the third thing we call standard. So what is one piece flow? It looks like that. We don't have the animation, but that's fine. So <laughs> basically, this little dot on the animation would move here and then here, but the two others would remain uh, in backlog. So we ask our, our team to do one thing at a time. And you will understand why it's important, because we ask them to do them right first time. So we don't have buses at Conto, like I don't do it, but team leaders neither, saying, hey, but you have to ship it by tomorrow. What the F? And, and so we, do, we, we don't do that, so we ask our guys to work one thing at a time, and you'll understand why. So this is the open space. This is what we, what we do, this is real. In red, of course, are the problems, we'll get there. And so 
When it doesn't work, so the little dot, purple dot, stops because you're blocked. I'm sure you know in Jira this column called on a hold. Okay, so we don't have such things at Conto. Um, the product managers or the developers uh, who are blocked would raise their hand. The team leader would come and they would discuss about the problem so that uh, we fix the problem now and the, the team can keep going. But the, the cool part is that sometimes it's easy, so we just all commit to React that way. But on the other hand, when it's hard, we slow down, we don't panic, panic and we, we make sure that we build learning out of the problem. So we face what we don't know. We, 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 we face our incompetence somehow. And so uh, and it's an important piece. But you can only do that if we do one thing at a time. Because if you do 10, then you don't have the time. You have the rush, you know, the internal rush in, the, in your brain that doesn't allow to learn. Uh, yeah, somehow, instead of thinking about what's a good pizza, you spend your time cooking pizzas. So you don't have the time to think about what's a good tomato sauce, in, in a way. Um, and again, this is like the open space, so we write the problems. And this little sheet on the, on the right is, is, is actually what, what we have uh, sticked on the wall. And so, uh, what, what comes out from this problem solving? We build reusable knowledge. And why do we do that? So it, it might look like Taylorism, like let's write a procedures, uh, let's write procedures and let's try to kind of all follow that. But the, the, the important thing of standards is to actually make conscient, uh, unconscious knowledge in the first place. So you stop, you solve your problem and you say, hey, let's, let's formalize, let's create a reusable knowledge that I will kind of share with my team and maybe we'll be learning and we don't repeat the same mistakes twice. And the, the idea of doing that is very important because you stabilize so you, you, can, you know that you're in an okay or not okay situation in the future if it repeats. And, and, and you, you, you train your brain to, to write um, knowledge, R&D, basically. So again, it's an important piece because um, as a team member, you would actually become pretty strong at capturing the, the, the knowledge. Uh, you learn discipline also to do one thing at a time. It's pretty strange. Uh, usually, like, uh, team members would say that they have too many things and they want to do once at a time, but you wouldn't realize how hard it is to remain focused on one thing. Uh, uh, so so it's, a, it's an important part. Um, happy customers, because we ship faster by doing one thing at a time. We don't parallelize the lead time. We pull very hard one thing, okay? So customers get the value faster and more frequently. So they don't, they don't have V-cycle where they get everything in batch. And uh, the, third, the third stakeholder is, of course, the shareholder because uh, they get the revenue faster. So because you ship faster, value faster, money faster. So let's wrap up. Our mission, creating the bank all businesses love. It's hard. I said it in, a, in an easy way, but it's actually uh, everyday, everyday uh, stuff to learn to, to get there. Uh, you remember our values, uh, we mentioned mastery, but we also have ambition like you guys at the family. Uh, ambition, we tackle big, big problems no matter how big they are. Teamwork, we work at the same pace. Mastery, we talked, and integrity, pretty, pretty straightforward. So, um, mastery. Basically, when we, when we build a bank, when we build a product, we don't really care about uh, the bank, <laughs> no, we care about it, but it's more a pretext to learn, keep learning on how to connect benefits with functional levers, so with uh, UI, uh, for example, or how to solve problem, but not forgetting about the plus alpha, what makes Conto different, or uh, you learn to work at the same speed. And we have, we have a mantra at Conto that we, that we keep repeating ourselves, that it captures um, mastery, and we believe that good products come from good thinkers. Um, this is pretty much our strategy. Um, I don't spend my time thinking about the next country we should launch. I spend most of my time thinking about how I can make my people proud and uh, growing every day. That's it. Yeah.
So I'll throw it to you. You can throw it to the next one. It's soft. It doesn't hurt. Okay, don't worry. It's a catchable mic. Okay, you catch it? So my question would be um, with regards to your banking license or, well, how should I phrase it? So um, how, how did you go through the process of deciding to partner with Trezor for your banking license instead of deciding to try and get your own banking license and whether you plan to stay the same way or whether you're considering getting a banking license in the future? That's a pretty good question. What's your name? Uh, ben Se. Okay. So um, at the time, so now it seems pretty obvious, Trezor and all the other folks, service providers, which are not banks, they're payment institution, just to be precise. They cannot lend money, in, in short. Um, but three years ago, it was exotic. So we kind of look around how to do it ourselves and um, who would do it with a French IBAN and the features we wanted, and we couldn't find any. So uh, the, the, really, I think three, five years ago, it was still ground zero when it comes to B2B banking, which is quite specific somehow. It's not just a card, it's multiple cards with multiple card holders linked to the same organization and so on. You have tons of layers of complexity you don't find in B2C. Uh, you have, of course, others in this B2C we don't see ourselves. Um, so, um, and at the time, uh, you know, go going against the big banks was not straightforward. We, we were challenged by the people we would meet. So, um, yeah, let's say we, we started to, we started small to get the product market fit. And so getting our own license, building our core banking system and so on would take a lot longer and you know, shipping something decent and getting feedback and learning on the ground was a real product. So this is the, the, the first piece. Now, uh, as you may know, uh, uh, we, ha we have our own license now. It's been, it's been more than a year. And all our, our new customers uh, since, I think, April this year are uh, registering on our own banking structure and inf infrastructure. So it's, it's a matter of time, like, but it just makes sense for us because we, we did not expect like fast growth as, as, we, as we had. And, and so like we have obvious, um, when, you, when you want to play the game of NPS AT, you need to control the layers. So somehow we, we had to make this decision, but we would have preferred uh, to keep, to keep a, a service provider. It's a bit like somehow um, logistics and e-commerce. When you get really big and you want to, you know, you want to provide the experience of a nice parcel, and you want to ship uh, Amazon Prime within two hours and so on, eventually, in the beginning, you, you rent the distribution center and the logistic, and at some point, you you build it, and so it's it's kind of the same relationship, I would say. And how how long was the process of partnering, in in 2017, like with, with Trezor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fairly. Fairly normal, I would say, like a few months. Thank you for being here. I'd like to know more on, uh, before you actually get the money, you have to f find this good talent. And I'd like to get to know more on your strategy of attracting them. And how do you, in the end, in the, the, uh, for me as a founder, I don't want to give out my shares. How do you actually convince people to follow you without giving part of your business? I come to the family. <laughs> and I go on stage and I say, please join Conto. <laughs> no. uh, I think it's a, it's a, it's a fair one. It's, um, but it's like everything. You, you start with one and you try to convince one person and a second person. And of course, the first, I think the first 10 or 20 employees got stocks at Conto. Uh, because you have to share, I think it's a, it's a fair thing. If you become really rich one day, I'm sure you, you don't want to be alone in your mansion. You want to you have a, a bunch of guys uh, partying with you or whatever you, you fancy in life. And, and so um, it's, it's, I think it's just like everything, you start you know, mingling uh, with, with, with fairly, like, fairly small amount of money. You try to, to attract people. And um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, sorry, I'm not helping, but it's just very hard, and you just have not to give up. That's it, <laughs> and give give stocks. Hi, um, I have a question regarding partnering with uh, traditional banks. Do you partner at the moment with uh, traditional banks, or and, and how do you plan to partner with them in 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 the future if it's not the case? Uh? I think ba banks are are nice guys. But they're, they're not, their DNA is not uh, customer delight. The, the whole banking model relies on other stuff, which is good for the world. Like banks are hated. NPS of minus 15 in average. This is really low. Um, but it's, um, yeah, I think they're, they're fairly, fairly nice on, on a few things. And, uh, and a lot of things actually, but 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 our job we, we don't do banking in in the beginning. We don't have a banking background, so we do product and tech and service, and so it happens that we have to do banking to to solve the 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 UX or the the experience and the yeah. So it's yeah, but the, but so we partner we 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 partner with a few for for the. For example, for processing, or for uh, we're working on Swift, and we partner with a bank, uh, SwiftNet, you know, wiring money, and and so we we have to do that, and we're fine doing that, but then the big the hard thing that we could we could add a, a fourth challenge on this slide would be what's our model? What's what do we need to learn to work efficiently with a bank because we have a different pace of working. And and the decision making scheme is very different too. Uh, so that's it. Sorry, my my question was more regarding on uh, attracting customers. So do you plan on working with banks, maybe to do dis distribute your uh, your services or solutions? No. Okay. Thank you. Maybe last question. Hi, uh, I'm Mackenzie. Um, my first event, so thanks, thanks for coming out here. I was just curious, uh, what caused, was it a personal problem that you guys had faced previously that caused you to come up with the idea? And you just said that you didn't have a banking background. How did you navigate the complexities of that world without a banking background to start? Uh, so two questions. Uh, first question, uh, so we had a company with my business, uh, business partner, Alex. We had a company before that was acquired, and we had a bank, and it was not good, not not as we expected. Let's say, let's let's be polite. And so, like, it was it it was not so good, and so we and the market is really big, and we can move fast, and others slower. So the opportunity was clear. So deep market, that's a multi hundred billions market. Uh, if not one trillion worldwide, worldwide. So you, it's, it's it's a fat market, very deep, and and um, and it's uh, intellectually stimulating. It's it's kind of complex, which I, I think with problem solving, etc. I think you get the point. Is that we like that, thinking deep, and and and, um, and so yeah. Then how do how did we uh, bring our brain up to speed to get to know how banking was working? I think it's a uh, I think we did, yeah, there is no banking for dummies books for sure. So it's it's pretty like on the job learning. Um, I think it's through doing mistakes, learning, capturing the reusable knowledge, and et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much like everything when you learn how to ski or do bicycle, ride a bicycle. It's like like you kind of get a sense. But of course, the you have so many layers of complexity, so many. I didn't know, which I didn't know. <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have done uh, we wouldn't have done it uh, in the first place because it's highly highly complex, and and so um, yeah, I think it's on on the job, and it, I would say it's so that's how you should do it for anything. If you want to build a company or you built a company, I just built a company, but it just got acquired Good luck. last month. Ah, congrats! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and so so yeah, it's it's so so if you build another one. Uh, yeah, it's it's a very organic process, let's say, I, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys.
Kill off on me. Kill off on me. Kill off on me.